Welcome to People Parliament News at 11. Today we will be presenting a key issue among students at a local school. They hope to bring that issue before Parliament. So they are asking for extra funds in order to update their playground. Now over to Tara on the field. Of in, in the playground. playground. Yeah, oh, outside. Many people at Dunwater Primary are protesting that the junior playground is outdated and needs refurbishments. Nearly all students feel that the playground is dangerous because it is made of concrete. They also feel that their boredom is leading to drama and arguments, which isn't a good environment for students. With argumentative states brewing, climbing frames and equipment will allow relax and play. Now that the facts have been revealed, the question everyone is asking, will the government answer their calls? Over to the news reporters with more information. We're here today at Dunwater Primary School's playground joined by two sports leaders. So, does limited equipment make your job more difficult? Absolutely. A variety of equipment would be useful for keeping children safe. Do you think more variety would keep children more active? A wider range of activities would give them different opportunities to exercise and try new things. Let's hear from a couple of other students. What are your thoughts on the current playground? We don't have any equipment, so arguments are caused due to boredom. How does this affect people's education? Drama spills over an into the classroom and distracts them from their learning. Let's see what our school nurse has to say. How many children end up in the medical room as a result of injuries on the playground? Um, about 10 or children at morning play and even more lunch. It's hard to count. Look at this poor child here. I grazed my knee on the concrete. It wouldn't have happened if the ground was soft. Today concerned students from Downwater met with Sally Polk, a member of the House of Lords. After being questioned, she commented that schools with more money shouldn't be getting more money, but might be due to the sheer amount of students that enter them every year. She also added that schools are allocated certain amounts of money and that resources are priority. They need to be careful of how much they ask for as it will affect their future funding. Back to the studio. Race you. Race you. Local MP Rupa Hug made the following statement. Over to Rupa Hug. As MP of meeting, I would like to address an extremely important issue at the school in my constituency. As a junior, I remember all the joy we had while playing in our magnificent green playground. Sadly, not all pupils have these resources. Their grounds consist of concrete and mud. <gasps> Recently, people have had a protest in order to raise their funding. They need a 2018 playground. I truly believe the playground should be refurbished, as doing nothing is no good for anyone. Time to noises. Yeah, I have. What? Oh, we've just had a live update. Let's go to Dem Water Primary School to find out more. Your presence today is appreciated. I am Mimi Latchman and I have been one of many protesters at Derwent Water to renew the school's abysmal grounds. During the winter months, students lobbied tirelessly to bring the state of their playground to the government's attention. We thank MP Rupa Huck for his persuasion in bringing about a change in the law. This protest has taught a valuable lesson. As the people, we are the law and we can change it. I now ask you wholeheartedly to come and admire our refurbished playground. We can have your autograph. No, 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 no more questions. These students are clearly passionate about their welfare. Very true. In fact, why don't you give us your opinion on social media, hashtag 2018 playground. We'll see you again for our afternoon update. Thanks. Oh, I like your dress. We did well, didn't we? Yeah. So